Tracking distance. In all likelihood, if you're traveling on business, and especially if you're going to see existing clients, there's a good chance you're going to want to get reimbursed for your mileage, if not just keep track of it so that you can record the expense. Expensify has an area of tracking distance which actually offers some impressive options for how you can keep track of the miles that you've driven. Let's see what this looks like. If you think back to the introduction that I wrote for the course, I talked about sort of the history of expense reports and what I know I used to go through and I know many others used to go through in terms of getting expense reports submitted and all the trouble that we had to go to and the several chances that there were for errors to be made along the way and just the overall inefficiency of the way expense reports have historically been done. Enter Expensify and you have an application that lets you do this seamlessly, make it so that the data only has to be entered once. In some cases, no data has to be entered at all. You take a picture of the receipt and Expensify does the rest with SmartScan. But generally speaking, if you think of the big picture of what an expense report consists of, we've got all the bases covered here, right? The first two uh, lessons in this section covered uh, different ways of doing the same thing, which is getting an expense uh, recorded. Then we looked at tracking time, which is often something we're going to do when we're out and about traveling for business. Uh, if we have expenses to submit, we've probably got time to keep track of as well. And then finally, we're into the last part of this, which is tracking the distance. If we drove somewhere to, uh, you know, to, to go on this business trip, then we're going to track the distance on this. So let's get into this. Let's look at tracking the distance. There's three ways to do it. Distance, odometer, and GPS. If I go into the distance part, you can see that I can simply enter the distance and based on the mileage rate, it'll calculate the total. The mileage rate is set at the administrator level and you'll see later in the course how to do that. Notice also we can do it in terms of either miles or kilometers. So if you're in a country that does things in kilometers, that's taken care of here. And of course, just as in the other areas, we can go in and we can, uh, we can write comments and looking at more details, we can assign the category and we can assign it to a job using the tags. So this bottom section really doesn't change much from one area to the next. It, it does the same things for whatever the context is, in this case, the mileage. So the mileage expense can be coded to the right category, of course, and to the right customer or job. So let's go back and I keep getting the warning reminding me that the mileage rate is set by the administrator. The next method is the odometer. Again, very clear. I put in my starting reading before I get into the car or, or when I get in the car before I drive away. And then when I'm finished with the trip, I put in the ending reading. And it's going to calculate the distance from that and based on that and the mileage rate, come up with the total. Again, everything else is exactly the same. I have my date, my comment. I can add it to a report. We'll get into that later. And if, again, I can assign the category, the tag, and I can mark it billable or reimbursable. So again, none of that stuff on the bottom changes. Let's go back once more. Again, we get the warning about the mileage rate. And the last way is through GPS. Of the different methods that Expensify offers for tracking distance, I think one of the most impressive, or the most impressive, is the GPS feature that it has. I was actually blown away because when I first tried this, I was at my home and I turned on the GPS tracking part of the, of the application and I was amazed at how accurately it actually pinpointed my home address so that you can actually start from a very specific location and let Expensify do all the work for you. Go drive to your destination and then tell it that you're done and Expensify uses the GPS tracking on your phone to calculate the total distance that you've gone. So more and more as you get into an app like Expensify, if your experience is anything like mine, you're blown away by how much it does for you, which as I've said before, simplifies your life, streamlines processes, and makes it easier for you to get things done so that you can focus on the things you really want to be doing. Now, of course, this is a little more sophisticated, but this is really nice because what I can do is I can hit my start button and notice it says it's locating. So it's finding me. And based on my phone's GPS, it's going to track my location. It's going to figure out how many miles or kilometers I've gone based on what my GPS tells Expensify about my whereabouts. Now this one, of course, you want to be able to see now it says recording and it's got my home address up there. It actually found my home address, which I'm going to blur out, of course, for the purpose of the recording. But rest assured, that's my home address right there where it says from. So it's pretty accurate, pretty impressive. And once I get to where I'm going, of course, I'll hit the stop. And it asks me, am I sure I want to stop recording my GPS location? I can say yes. And it notes that I went from one address to the same address. 
And of course, there's no miles to calculate because I haven't gone anywhere. So I'm going to hit discard. But that's pretty smart that uh, it's able to be that specific. I mean, it didn't just get the block I was on. It got my exact address. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, GPS. So there's your three ways of tracking your distance or mileage. The action, Just entering the distance using your odometer reading or letting it track your GPS. As always, if you have any questions, post them in the answers forum. And when you're ready to move on to the next section, we're going to be taking a look at the desktop app and how you can get some of the same things that you've seen now done on the mobile app accomplished also on the desktop app. And by desktop app, I mean the, uh, the browser version of the app as opposed to the mobile app. So it could be a laptop too. Um, if you're on a tablet, you're probably looking at the mobile app here. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. As you've just seen, Expensify offers several options for tracking distance. And I think the most impressive one is the GPS location tracking. Next, we're going to start taking a look at the browser-based Expensify application. The first thing we're going to take a look at is how to set up your bank or credit card feeds so that you can import your transactions into Expensify.